Hey, it's Rich back with you for another video. Today I'm flying a 1978 310R that we're going to be listing for sale. It's got some really cool uh, Garmin avionics upgrades, S-Tech Autopilot. We're going to take it out and do an ILS back into Long Beach. Take you along for the ride. All right, so one thing, one nice thing about these avionics uh, is they're fast. These new Garmin uh, avionics are all fast. So I'm gonna hit the battery switch. And, and of course we have an avionics switch to hit still, but because we have uh, some of it tied to the master switch. There you go. And then all this will come up with the, uh, with the uh, avionics power switch. It's warm here, so we're gonna make start fast. Cessna 4941 Alpha is ready, 30 Delta 2, be a left turn out. November 4941 Alpha, Long Beach Tower, roger, standby. November 41 Alpha, runway 30 Delta 2, shorten, line up and wait. Line up and wait, 30 Delta 2. Number 41 Alpha, southbound, Christian southbound turn free, runway 30 Delta 2, cleared for takeoff. We're take off 30 Delta 2, 41 Alpha. Mixtures, props, your speed's alive. Engine instruments look pretty good. November 41 Alpha Transponder appears in author, reset Squawk BFR. Squawk BFR, Roger. 41 Alpha. Okay, this this airplane has uh, 9,500 total time, 1,000 hours on one engine, and 200 hours on the other engine. Uh, complete logbooks, and uh, I've known the guy that owns this airplane for a long time, and they did all the avionics upgrades. Well maintained. It had, uh, the, the uh, current owner actually had a, a, a gear leg uh, bracket break, and he had three green, but he, the gear was wobbling around, and uh, folks on the ground were telling him that his gear wasn't, wasn't locked. So he didn't have a choice, made a landing, very nice landing. We actually have video of it, maybe we'll be able to post it. Comes in for a real nice soft landing, and the left, left gear uh, broke loose, skidded out, uh, that was that was only a couple of years ago, maybe four years ago, and and uh, anyway, minimal damage, and that's when the uh, engine and the prop were uh, overhauled, a little bit of a little bit of skin damage. But uh, you know, on a lot of these airplanes, a gear up airplane, a gear up landing like that, or a partial gear collapse, uh, it's not really a big deal. Um, they can be repaired pretty easily, and sometimes airplanes take a bad rap if they have damage history. Generally speaking, I think that's kind of overrated. You know, if they're repaired uh, properly by a good shop and well documented. You know, in my opinion, a lot of times they're good as new, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, and when you have an airplane with retractable gear in this class, that's that's you know, it's 40 plus years old. Uh, you know, it's often they have a little bit of a, a history to them. But when I was taxiing out in this airplane, I was making the comment that it. it feels like kind of like that 421 we did a video on a while back it feels like a it doesn't feel like it's got 9,000 hours on it really solid it flies great we're out here in some smooth air and it's it's uh it's rock solid as far as the way it, it handles and flies and 
nice and stable. It always amazes me these airplanes are you know at this age, they start getting this kind of time on them, but they still uh, they do st still do really well. Okay, uh, uh, on these avionics, I mentioned uh, kind of a, a list of the avionics, but you put these avionics in this class of airplane, it really you know changes the game uh, as far as you know capability, a good autopilot to. Uh, to get you all set up, you know, and you have confidence in that can shoot a coupled approach. So we loaded up a uh, high lesson to Long Beach. We're going to do a coupled approach and see how this Aztec 55X does. So I loaded the uh, approach and then I activated vectors to final. Got our inbound course dealt up there, dialed in, and we've got the ILS frequency in. And uh, let's see how the again how the Aztec 55 does. And I'm going to start a VFR descent down to. Uh, uh, let's change this altitude to, uh, and on this TXI, you just touch it. Let's change this to 1,600. All right, and I think if you hit both of these together, it should capture. Pull some power back. So Cal Twin Cessna 4941 Alpha. 4941 Alpha, Suka. Uh, VFR Cessna 310 off of, uh, eh, we're probably 15 miles uh, south of Seal Beach. We'd like to get a practice eye lesson to Long Beach. The 494 Alpha, Squawk 0256. 0256, Roger. All right, 22 Tango heading 210. The 494 Alpha is radar contact heading 040. Heading 040, 4941 Alpha. 60490, contact so okay, 040. That all looks good. Okay. So we talked a little bit about cruise and the uh, other uh, 310 that was a turbo. This is normal, normally aspirated, so obviously the higher you go, you're going to lose some manifold pressure. You're going to save on fuel, so you probably, like right now, we got the power pulled back to right around what you would get uh, in the 11,000 foot range. We're burning about 10 gallons an hour, or 20 gallons an hour, 10 per engine. And I think at 10,000 feet, the book says you're going to get about 185 knots uh, true airspeed out of this airplane, which is pretty respectable. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you don't need turbocharging, uh, really good speed on reasonable fuel burn for a twin. Okay, so we're on 330. Looks like when you go into approach mode here, maybe it it takes a little bit different cut at the uh, localizer. We're at the intercept altitude for the glide slope. Five, five, Mike Bravo, glide okay. slope's right there. Zero, zero, here it comes, so it should start to capture. And six two four Delta Sierra, contact SoCal thirty four thirty five. Now in the Garmin autopilots, it would stay in heading mode. Wait. Four nine four one Alpha, contact tower nineteen point four. We'll see ya. See ya. Thank you. Four nine four one Alpha. Here comes the glide slope, or the localizer, and there's the turn. Now this is where the Garmin autopilot would have behaved a little bit differently, in my opinion, a little bit better. And it could be because, uh, you know, Garmin doesn't want the uh, Brand X, S-Tech, to you know, do quite as well. I don't know. 4941 Alpha is with you, 30 full stop. So it's just a 4941 Alpha Long Beach Airway, 30 shortened. Clear to land, hold short of runway 26 right for traffic. Clear to land, 3-0, hold short of 26 right, 4-9, alpha Okay, yeah, everything looks like, 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 like it's man. ready. Cessna 9 3 Julie, roger, contact approach. Glide slope's coming. 25.35. Point of 35, 9 Julie, have one. See ya. Here comes one dot. Here comes down. Cherokee 0, echo, runway 26 left, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, One, two, three. Gears down, three green. Mike Echo at Queensgate, Wisconsin. Come back off this power just a little bit. For three, three, zero. Mike Echo, Long Beach, Sheriff. Runway two six left. Squawk zero two. Actually, stand by. Shoot for blue line. There's glide slope cap. For zero, Mike Echo. Squawk zero two six seven. Runway two six left. Maybe add a little more flaps. Zero two six seven runway two six left. Sleepy zero Mike Echo. Cessna Niner Niner uh, Juliet. 
Yeah, I will call you back. Alright, right, gears down, three green. Flaps are where I want them. We got blue line or on glide slope. And I'm going to set this for uh, Mr. Broach Altitude. It's 3,000. Two six left, clear for takeoff. We'll fly runway heading seven six six alpha. Cherokee zero eight echo contact departure. It's interesting. Blue line. If you fly this at blue line, you're probably uh, fifteen at least knots. Eh, not quite. Ten knots faster than like a Mustang or an M two. Just a four three one say altitude. Four three one is at two thousand two hundred. Gears down, three green. Mixtures, pumps. And co confirm uh, four nine four one alpha clear to land. Four one alpha. Yeah, that uh, aircraft will not be departing. You are still clear to land. And verify hold short of only two six right. Clear to land three zero hold short two six right. Signal six six alpha turn crossman. Follow a Cessna in on the forty five one mile south of Signal Hill at one thousand four hundred. Turn across and we'll follow them six seven. For 999 Jula, turn, uh, actually, I'll call your base. Zero, call my base. 999 Jula. For Zero Mike Echo, extend down one. Zero Mike Echo, extend down one. Ground 4941 Alpha off at uh, Golf 4. OCR aviation. Number 4941 Alpha Longest Ground, taxi via Delta. Delta 4, Julia 2, hold short, only 26 left. Delta, Delta 4, Julia 2, hold short, 26 left, 4941 Alpha. All right, a great flight in this 1978 310R. Really nice airplane, flew really well, handles really well, nice interior. Uh, top of the line avionics across the board with the TXI and the 750s, S Tech 55 autopilot that flew a nice ILS. Uh, we don't have pricing on this airplane yet, but you will have it by the time you watch the video at OCRAviation.com. Thanks for watching.